When comparing 4G and 5G networks, we constantly look at things like the performance, the throughput rates, but we also take into account the coverage. Have we got service in a certain geographical area? Now, if we look at a 4G system, when you say coverage, you're talking about a cell site providing some coverage from a particular cell. Now, cells come in all shapes and sizes, big cells, macro cells, down to small cells, down to indoor small cells. Ultimately, when you say a small cell, what we're we actually talking about, well, we're talking about a cell which potentially has low power. And as you increase the power, you'll find that increases the size of the cell. So high powered cells go further. But it's not just about that. So when comparing the coverage, we need to think about, OK, is 4G and 5G operating on the same power levels? But we also need to think about the frequency of deployment when describing coverage. Now, typically, the low frequencies go further. And generally, the terminology we use is low band, typically identified below one gigahertz. So in this example, this is the low band signal, it goes the furthest. And most service providers around the world have 4G networks operating on a low band. However, majority of the capacity and a lot of the networks focus on the mid band frequencies, typically one, two, three gigahertz. And here we get A, good coverage, but B, we get a lot of high data rate capabilities. And this is our 4G system. Now, when comparing to 5G, a lot of people say, oh, well, 5G is, is, is not as good as 4G. And again, it's, you need to be able to describe the difference. So if we start describing 5G, we're saying, now, this is a 5G enabled handset. Well, 5G also supports the low band. So in some networks around the world, you will find the service providers have used low band 5G and it provides equal, if not better, coverage. So straight away when comparing 4G and 5G coverage the first question to ask is what frequencies are being deployed now like 4G systems 5G operates on low band on mid band where we get a lot of capacity and also with 5G we do have access to the high band above 24 gigahertz again if the service provider has access to those frequencies but ultimately they are very small cells for the for the same power level so in this example, all the power levels are the same, but we're just changing the frequency on 4G and 5G. So when you say, have I got good 5G coverage? Well, it does depend. Now, some service providers may not have access to low frequency, low band 5G. So it might look like this, in which case you could have a 5G capable device, but you're not in the coverage area of 5G. However, to counteract that, you might find that they start putting in more cells, more small cells, which incorporate the bands that they have access to, to provide that connectivity, that coverage. So in summary, we could say 4G and 5G are almost identical, but it does depend on the service provider and how they decide to deploy the frequencies.